We just have to presume that he, he didn't tip his hand when he talked to the police. Isaac's not going to be expecting this, that's for sure. And it lets this jury hear there's another viable suspect. That's right, we got our reasonable doubt. And if you're incriminated? Well, we'll worry about me later. Okay, besides, I happen to know I'm a very good lawyer. Sorry that took so long. What are you doing? What the hell are you supposed to wear to your own murder trial? My father wants me to look like I'm in mourning. Um, I don't know. That seems too planned. It's not you. I'm not hitting the clubs. Well, you still have to look like yourself. Otherwise, you look scared and guilty. I am guilty. You know, I feel like I had a hand in all of this. No, really, it's, it's not your fault. What if Ryan did kill David? Well, we don't know for sure. And if he did, we don't know why. How is it that I can be so sad that David is gone and then I'm doing everything I can to protect the man who might have killed him? Well, nobody ever said you're not complicated. David saved my life, Kendall. Yours too. People hated him, but he wasn't all bad. It just got so out of control. And now he's gone and I'm trying to decide between a dress and a suit. Greenlee, so much has happened. You haven't had any time to grieve. That has to be hard. You know, I think I'm okay, and then it just hits me out of nowhere. I didn't want David to die. I loved him. I hated him. I wanted him out of my life. I believed in him. I had hope that he could become the man that I knew he could become. And now I have to face a courtroom of people asking if I killed that man. Replacement suit, replacement coffee. Oh. Mm. That's more like it. I feel like a pusher. Oh, please don't start with me right now. I'm actually not annoyed with you. You've done everything that I've asked. And uh, these files are in perfect order. Really? Mm -hmm. Cool, because organization is not my thing. <laughs> how much it takes. It takes for what? To be you. Well, it really is you. You're expecting somebody else. I thought it might be a prank. You've never called me before. Hey. Yeah. I assume you heard about Scott, Uncle Pete's invention. I just came from visiting old Scotty, yes. Uh, he feels real bad about what he did. As well he should. So, um, what can I do for you? I'm sorry that you lost Pete before you had a chance to... Carolyn, Cortland, are you checking up on me? Oh, we didn't really... I didn't get off to a good start when we first met. I mean, when I found out that Pete wanted me to come here and stay here in Pine Valley well, and run this company. it's kind of a shock to you, I guess. A shock? I thought it was a cruel joke. But in the time that I've been here, I've had a chance to think about things, and uh, I realize that the least I can do is to respect him, his wishes, and be nice to his girl. So you and Erica are gonna take back Cortland now? Damn right. Well, I like that spark in your eye. <laughs> Palmer used to look like that when he was gearing up for a big battle. Really? Yeah. Well, it's not just about business. I'm glad you decided to stay. For whatever reason, Pete thought I was the right guy for the job. So, I'm here. As you know, I even changed my last name. 
shaved your beard, you got yourself a hell of a nice haircut, and I know hair. You like it? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're not just token gestures. They mean something. Like a second chance? Did you get the memo? No more visitors. I just charmed my way past three detectives, two cops, and one very nasty German shepherd. So you have a visitor, like it or not. You know, Erica used to have this TV show. It was called New Beginnings. You could have been on that show. Well, it's all over now, of course, but I mean, I know there's still a lot of people who would love to hear your story. Well, I'm not much for telling stories. Especially about yourself. Oh, what's done is done. Not always. I should be going. Lots of work to do, huh? I really am sorry. You are? For what? That you're losing Pete. Yeah, so am I. But I'm glad we got you. Well, we'll see about that. But thanks. <laughs> well, tell Erica to call me, would you? Call me to pass a message on to her? Well, she is your partner, isn't she? Oh, that she is. <laughs> I know you thought that was Palmer's cruel joke. Pete was no fool. Thanks for your time. Mm. Palmer was one of my dearest friends. I almost died bringing his will back to Pine Valley. And you had the audacity to come to the reading, sit there, pretending to pay your respects to him when all the while you had stolen from him. Opal's already ringed me out, Caleb too. I know what I did was wrong. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. And I am truly sorry. Well, you turned yourself in. That's a good sign. That says a lot. It says that you want to try to make up for what you did. If, in fact, you did it. Excuse me? Scott, we were all very surprised to hear about the theft. But the biggest shock was that you were the Chandler who, who did it. I mean, if it had been J.R. Oh. Oh, okay. This conversation is over. At the very least, J.R. had to know about it, Scott. Maybe he even set you up. And if that's the case, you can cut a deal. I happen to have it in with two very brilliant lawyers, Jackson and Caleb. I stole Palmer's idea, me, alone. And I don't appreciate you trying to manipulate me into taking somebody else down. Oh, come on, Scott. Let's have a reality check here. Everyone knows that JR has been hovering around your wife making trouble in your marriage. If I were you, I would do everything I could to make sure that JR is the one who ends up in this cell. Counselor? I want to apologize for the other day. Accepted. Thank you. And to tell you that you're right, I am taking this case too personally. But I can and will comport myself as a professional, even while I'm doing everything I can to save my daughter. Well, as a parent and a lawyer, I would expect nothing less. So? So, ho, ho, you look fabulous. Great. But not so fabulous that you look uncaring. Yeah, well, let's hope the sketch artist gets my good side. Yeah, that would be your not guilty side. Have you talked to Ryan this morning? He actually went to the courthouse early to meet Jackson. <sighs> Has he ever not been there for me? Either of us. Well, I can't have him sitting next to me. I don't want it to look like... To look like you still love him? The jury has to see a woman who loved her husband. And nobody else. Hey, I need to talk to you. Uh, now's not a good time. It's about Emma. Emma, what's wrong? Nothing. No, nothing is wrong. I just, I just need you to be available to help out with her just a little bit more in the next couple of days, please. Of course, but Ryan, you should know things are really bad around here. 
I, I'm sorry what you're going through with Scott. I, I, I know. I, I would not ask if it wasn't really, really important. Greenlee's trial? It starts today. Okay, Ryan, but with everything that Emma has gone through, she really needs her father right now. She has already lost Scott. She can't lose you, too. I will, I will, I will be there for her as much as I possibly can, but honestly, you, you should prepare for anything. Any more reporters outside? You were the picture of confidence. I'm not confident. I'm scared. I know. But whatever happens, just remember, we're in this together. <laughs>